1933, Hitler made plans to destroy any race that intervened with the process of creating a master race purity. Although the population of Jewish people in Germany was only 600,000 people and barely even reached 1% of the entire German population, they were classified as a race and Hitler demanded for them to be wiped out. Here are some of the push factors and also some reasons why the German Jewish people may have wanted to migrate to the United States. When the media started to promote this idea, many people began to support Hitler's views. All forms of dissemination of... All newspapers, posters, magazines, and adverts were censored if they contained anything against Hitler and the Nazis. Books that went against his opinions and his views were also burned, especially those that were written by Jewish people. Books represent humanity as it, at its best and its worst. To burn books is simply a fundamental repression of ideas. Many famous Jewish books, and also books that were written by people such as Albert Einstein and Sigmund Freud, were all burned. Those written by people like Helen Keller were considered a big threat to Hitler's theories because she was able to overcome her disabilities and had tried and succeeded to live like everyone else. The variety of books that, that was burnt uh, on that night and, and, and thereafter. Among the authors whose books were burned were Ernest Hemingway, both Mann brothers, Thomas and Heinrich. There's the German writer, um, Erich Maria Remarque, who wrote the famous book All Quiet on the Western Front. Helen Keller. Jack London, the American nature writer. There's very little that unites all of these books, really, except that they were all considered dangerous by the Nazis. Due to this, many Germans were brainwashed and the torture of the Jewish people began. On the 1st of April, 1933, the Jewish were required to wear the Star of David on all their clothing, with the word Juden, meaning Jew, written on it. Whether they were Jewish or not did not depend on what they believed or what they practiced. If their grandparents were Jewish, they were unavoidably labeled with the Star of David. From 1937, through 1939, problems just became worse. Jewish children were banned from going to public theaters, cinemas, resorts, or even schools. Sometimes they were forbidden to live in certain areas or even walk some streets. Companies and businesses were forced to close down and Jewish stores and synagogues were destroyed. Imagine the Kristallnacht, the, the night of the broken glass, encouraged more Jewish people to move away from Germany. Over a thousand synagogues were burned or vandalized, and 7,000 Jewish businesses were closed down. More than half of the Jewish population in Germany migrated to Palestine, the United States, Latin America, Shanghai, since no visa was required, along with Eastern and Western Europe. However, the Nazis came after the Jewish people that went to Europe soon after, since they could reach many parts of Europe easily. Here are some pull factors of the German Jewish migration. And Jews were banned from the civil service. To the Jewish people who had never been overseas and had never been to another country, the idea of a whole new country to live seemed too good to be true. Many were more than willing to use up every last bit of money they had saved just to escape Germany and the Nazis. Even though there weren't any particular pull factors, they simply wanted to leave behind their country and go somewhere where they may have a chance of a new life. The advantage of migrating to America meant that they no longer needed to be chased by the Nazis and they didn't have to live hiding in shelters or being tortured and punished for standing by their own beliefs. However, there was a disadvantage that as more and more people fled to America, the Americans became more and more against the idea of refugees coming into their country. There was a chance that ships may be rejected and sent back to their original countries. 
Polls at that time showed that 67% of Americans wanted a stop to all immigration. Also, migrating to America was very expensive for some refugees, so even when they moved to America, their life wasn't particularly good. For the Americans, one of the most significant disadvantages was that because of the Jewish people that had migrated to America, the unemployment rates that had been high due to the Great Depression in the 1930s went even higher, from 8.9% in 1939 to 20.1%. Also, many Americans disliked the Jewish because they were different, and many were very xenophobic. They also feared that the German Jewish were spies that were blackmailed into working for the Nazis or the German officials. There were many places that this migration affected. In 1939, the US rejected around 900 refugees that had sailed from Germany on a ship called St. Louis. The ship was then forced to sail back to Europe, where the governments of France, Netherlands, Britain and Belgium agreed to accept some amount of refugees into their countries. Of the 900 or so refugees that returned to Europe, 254 people have been known to have died. Only around 360 refugees are known to have survived the war. Also, since many Western countries were starting to reject refugees, the refugees started to look to other countries instead. One of the countries was Shanghai, because you did not need a visa to enter the country. Although Shanghai was under Japanese control at the time, they allowed 17,000 Jewish refugees to enter their country. As you can see, this migration did not only affect America and Germany, it affected many different countries too. Direktor,